So it's time for us to go ahead and take a look at Siri on iOS 26 and compare it on and Google Gemini, compare it you know, with Google Gemini and see which particular voice application is the better one or which you know assistant is going to be the better one for us. Now, the thing is, is that with Google Gemini and with Apple Intelligence, with Siri, they're both very good. They're both very interesting. But which one is going to be the better one? Now, I'm going to be using their voice command options between both. So I'm going to just invoke voice command on both, and I'm going to go and see how they both kind of interact from there. So I'm going to start off with something really, really basic. So I'm going to go ahead and just start off with basically who won the last Super Bowl. Something very basic command, right? So let's do it. Who won the last Super Bowl? So let's see. So on Siri, it did actually go through and give us this type of command. With Google Gemini, it gave us a little bit of a layout right here. So it kind of gave us this type of breakdown. So there was a little bit, you know, I actually did kind of like Siri's a little bit more. Now let's do another one. Well, we're going to ask it, what's the capital of Madagascar? Ready? What's the capital of Madagascar? So you can see right here, Siri does actually do a really good job at kind of giving us the information at a much quicker you know, rate. It gave us this, and if we click on it, it does actually bring us into where that information was actually taken from. On the Google Gemini side, this is something really interesting. It gives us this information, no pictures, no nothing, but the text, it does show us the text. But it is actually much faster on Siri on iOS 26, and I feel like it gave me a better type of layout. If I click on sources, you can see it does kind of give me exactly where it got that information from. And if I click on this, then it will open up its own web browser and then give me that type of information from there. So now let's go and kind of do some more, right? So let's test out something else. Let's go and hop out of here. Let's go and get back into here. Now let's do some mathematics, okay? So let's go and say, let's do some conversion with some euros. Can you convert $100 to euros? So look at how much faster it is on Apple Intelligence on Siri over Google Gemini. So it does give us the pretty much the same amount of numbers. It gives us you know good things so far. So that is something that's actually really, really cool for itself. Now within Google Gemini, I don't know within you know iPhones if it gives us the capability of kind of going through and you know kind of doing anything else, you know, for phone. Like I don't think I can set an alarm with it. One thing though is that we should have the capability of typing to Siri but I don't see that type of capability here. Now, I, I tried to kind of mess around with it. I think the iPhone 16e does support type to Siri, but I will say there's way more devices that are supported on Google Gemini than with you know, this one. So you can see type to Siri is enabled. Double tap the bottom you know, edge of the iPhone to type to Siri. So let's try this out. So we do have the ability of typing to Siri as well. So we can type, we can talk. So that is something that's nice between both. So let's go and start a conversation now. So let's go and start basically, you know, who's the, you know, uh, random president of the United States. So let's go and try this out. Who's the 30th president of the United States? Okay, again, so much faster here, but let's go and try it again. How, how old was he when he died? Okay, so now you can see Apple Intelligence did kind of go away. Google Gemini did actually stay in the conversation, so I'm not too sure why that happened. Who was the 30th president of the United States? How old was he when he died? Interesting. How long was his presidency? So they both do a good job at giving us the information. Now, I like how on the Google Gemini side, it's a dedicated application. I can see the history of this application and the conversation. With Apple Intelligence, I don't know if I can see the history of these applications, like of the search history that I had. So I will tell you with Apple Intelligence, it is nice to have that type of layout. I think it's actually a nicer looking layout, and it is much faster when it comes down to it. With Google Gemini, I like how it's a separate app. I like how I can see all like everything going on before it, and I can see the history of the application. And I, I do notice that for the most part, kind of going through the conversation, 
it is a much faster experience on Apple Intelligence than on Siri. What I don't like is how it just automatically will just keep going in the conversation, even if I'm talking. So I would like it to where I can click a button and then it goes to the next thing or like I hold down a button for me to speak. I don't like it how like when I'm like talking, it'll keep hearing what I'm saying. That's one of the biggest pitfalls with Siri. I wish there was a way for me to like pause it and then go into it. There might be a way, but so far from what I'm seeing between both Apple Intelligence, you know, Siri on Apple Intelligence and Google Gemini both do a pretty good job. You know, I, I like both. I think Apple Intelligence Siri, you know, is faster, but I do feel like the lack of a dedicated app and the lack of like me being able to stop it when I don't want it to hear me anymore is a little frustrating, but I do think it's faster and I like the layout of it more. With Google Gemini, I think this is a really nice looking, it's a good looking app. I feel like Google Gemini does do a really good job at kind of, you know, giving me a dedicated app, which is cross-platform. It's also available online, but I do feel like I would probably still use Google Gemini more than Siri on iOS 26. So that's just kind of the way I see it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Sultan.